once you've created your site, you're going to want to log in and make some changes. While this is a nice clean layout, you may or may not like this theme. We can go into our themes and you'll see that while 2014 is the default, you'll have a couple, uh, probably two other themes installed, 2013. And you can do a live preview on that, see if you like it better. If you don't, you can go back to themes, pick one of the other ones that's there, or you can add a new theme. And so I'm going to look for a theme with a responsive layout. I want to have it accessibility ready. I want to be able to do custom colors and custom menus. So I'm going to take a quick look to find a theme. Okay, and that one looks pretty good. I'm going to preview it. And that looks okay to me. I'm going to choose install. And then I can customize it. So I've got my site title and tagline my colors oh, let's see I'm not in my correct theme I've got to go back to themes here because this is still 2013 I downloaded the other one but I did not activate that I'm going to close this and go back to themes and make sure that I actually activate my raindrops theme there we go that's better now I can customize it. It has specific theme settings. And I'm going to leave it as fixed right now. It has a few different options on colors. I don't really like dark. There we go. That's better. Or minimal. I kind of like light. Okay, and then I can choose my base color, and I'm going to be in shades of purple. And I don't want to show the extra sidebar. Okay, and I'm going to start with left and 180 pixels. Font color, I'm actually pretty much okay with it where it's at. Colors, background image, static front page. I've got to create one first. And so let's look at the raindrop settings. So we've got all sorts of extended theme options here header, background image, footer, background, which title, page width, custom width and position. Text color and content. So we can go in here and we can put lots of specifics in here. I kind of like this. This gives me all the choices that I want. Written name for USA. And we can go through each of these color type, light, header, background image. I will put one of those in in a bit. And so this lets us go through and set each of the options. So we can set our link color. Find one you like. I want something with high contrast. Kind of like that. 
it has accessibility settings and you may or may not get these options you have you'd have to pick the same theme to get the same options there go and we want yes because we want it to be accessible and it's going to be html5 and that's good and i will come back and upload images later so that gives me set up to where i can start adding some content which i will do in the next video okay that gives me a place to get started